the rival. About details of call. People who have hired okay. other people. What are some unexpected ways a candidate has disqualified themselves from slash decrease? The smash is taking a kind of they applied for. On the inverse of this, I went into a job interview where the manager said, Look, I don't really care. You are my 30th applicant in a week and everyone has failed the drug test. If you can pass the drug test, you are hired. I don't even care about anything else anymore. I passed. Uh. It was an awesome job, and he was a great manager. I was interviewing for a truck driver position and spontaneously. I asked how long the candidate Come has on. been driving for. Why is this match taking so long? He didn't know how to. They just started. I heard about a parent who oh. took their child somewhere to fill out an application. Fuck. While the kid was filling out the application, the parent struck up a conversation with the manager, saying how their kid is lazy, disrespectful, and never listens, and okay. how they want this job to whip their kid into shape. After they leave, the manager tosses out the kid's application. In a section of the application where we ask if they have a felony record, they answered yes. In the following field asking about details of said felony they had put they had embezzled funds from their previous employer, then assaulted that employer, then assaulted arresting officers, while I admire the honesty, that's gonna be a no from me dog. I just remembered one more, I had a candidate bring his mother into an interview, as in actually trying to help uh, her answer, I asked her to leave, fuck? and then told him directly, that she is harming his career. He was fresh out of undergraduate, but that's I'm trying to get this game to work. I once had a candidate bring up an illegal. I don't know why all of a sudden it doesn't want to work. To show how good they were at working around rules and Thank reading you. situations. When I managed a retail store, it wasn't uncommon for people to bail on job interviews with last minute or no notice. But there was only ever one person who no showed the interview and then called the next week asking if they got the job. Had a guy who reluctantly told me he used to work at a sex shop to try and save him from feeling weird. I told him that my okay, let's see if we could survive a few matches. And would I forgot like one. how many points do I have. His response, well, isn't she a freaking weirdo? Doing a text screen phone interview, and you could tell the guy was googling his heart out every time we asked a question. He would say, let me think about that for a second. The background ambient noise would cut off, okay. and then cut back on a second later. And he so reading off I need to figure out Google results. which disaster is going to be. Posted this before, but it's always good for a revisit. Applicant, so you'll do background checks. Criminal history for this job, right? Me. Oh, it's a yeah. tsunami. Applicant, so rain on me, tsunami. And when you run, I'll be your galaxy. It's not gonna say statutory, but it was totally just statutory. I had someone come in who had just quit another job, and they badmouthed their previous boss throughout the entire interview. Like, we tried to uh. steer her away, and she went back to it. She clearly needed to unload, but an interview is not the place. This guy was applying to be a teacher's assistant whose main duty would be. I don't want to get like. Uh oh. He had it's almost here anyway. Well, as I was saying, it the tsunamis, you don't want to get like. He handed the essay and too high. Two notes. He took or else, the like, and added a the building's gonna well, fall and you're gonna die. He had Beric and Michelle Obama for his references. White House address and a phone number one that was his at all. Knowing my luck, for cancer in his one of those pieces the is gonna just glitch out and, like, hit me and kill me. And then Cause resume, those things actually do it. It actually does that in this game. Though. Not my story, but an old professor of mine's. But it's too perfect not to use. A long time ago his department was looking to hire some kind of new junior assistant professor type. They had narrowed it down to two Healy qualified guys, both fresh out of grad school. They knew they were going to hire one or the other. As a final step- Also your balloon could pop and go too to high, which is separately. The first annoying. Is cordial throughout I mean it makes sense, but- Seems to get along with everybody. Seems just yeah. fine. Then at the end of the meal he picks up his empty plate and licks the whole thing clean. Like- tongue flat against surface of the plate, covering every inch of it until it's clean, in the middle of a nice restaurant. Then he just sets the plate down, like it was the most normal thing in the world. Everyone just stares at him, and then awkwardly try to just wrap things up. Afterward they laugh about it to each other like W. Thank you for the follow, Pilot Sparrow. I really appreciate it. Way to Thank you for coming to the stream. On a good job opportunity. So then they take the second guy out. Almost just a formality at this point. How are you doing? Again, 
Everything is fine. He's polite. Seems perfectly qualified. Seems to know the right things to say. Then at the very end they ask him if he had any questions for them. Oh my gosh, it's the answer on for a moment. Then goes, so what is the student teacher dating? I'm doing well. Afterward, the other professors are sitting around together. I wanted to um well. play a different like Roblox game from the building one to take a break. I usually build like Tell mansions and stuff. Have syphilis, and they refuse to get treatment because they hate needles. Edit. Cool, my highest rated comment is about a guy I didn't hire because he told me a lot of things, including he had syphilis. I work at a hospital on a med slash surge floor. Jailbreak, do you mean about the game? Part interview, one with the unit manager, and one with either a nurse or an aide. We have a series of questions to ask. Up is going this way. Yeah. Fill out in the end of the application. She managed to make her. I had to try again in front of the building. To a question: If you saw a coworker doing something unethical, like stealing from a patient, what would you do? It depends if it was valuable or not. I mean, who hasn't stolen something before? Do you guys okay. Test? We should be good here. Yes, we do. For like all the drugs. Yes. Okay. Thank you for your time. And then he got up and left. Being mean or condescending to my assistant. Candidate okay. arrived in rollerblades. Stayed in rollerblades the whole interview. He used the word blade instead of walk or go for the whole interview. Can't tell if I was being punked. As a also in this game you get points for every um second my business partner and I did all the development I think it's every second and management stuff he was talking to a guy interested yes every in second in company I guess explain that the team also consists of myself um I'm playing a game right now we could play later together the other male name. this guy interrupted him scoffed and asked I just started playing this so I'm gonna play this for a little bit longer of the conversation with that guy I'm a lobby guard, so I don't Unless you want to come to this game and play with me. However, I have had interviewers ask me how the interviewee behaved in the lobby while waiting. Most just sit there twiddling. You're free to. Nervously. But nine tenths times those who ask me questions about the company and or the team they are interviewing for are hired. And ten tenths times people who are genuinely rude to me are never hired. Job location. Yeah. London. Candidate location. Denver. That's if the um game is isn't, okay. isn't full. No. We had a guy come in for an interview, and he showed up a full 40 minutes prior to his scheduled interview. One room office shared by three people, so there's no good place for him to wait. I said you can go to the coffee shop next door. And I should like remove my hats, room. make myself completely yes. invisible. No, I'll just wait here. I have a phone call to make. He proceeds to have a very loud phone conversation in our one room office. When it was finally time for his shit. Also, people be pushing people off the fucking the phone, stage and, and like killing people. And said, I'm on the phone. Ten minutes later, he was ready to be interviewed. Not even sure why we proceeded with the interview. But it was over quickly. And his resume was in the recycle before the door even closed. Oh, get inside. And listed several non profit community organizations he had served as a volunteer. <coughs> only to discover that those entities didn't exist. I'm really like a walking dog head. Because charitable groups would strengthen his resume, and that they'd never be contacted for verification. I'm gonna reset after this because I want to keep like they were a valid my whole character. Either they were trying to say they were top of their class, or that they were a genuine person from 19th century England, neither of which were true. On the application, it asked, "May we contact your former employer? If not, please explain." He responded, "No." Because he hates also, do not touch the um the green acid because it will kill you. Because it's still a ha active hitbox. And looked at thousands and thousands. I mean hitbox. A lady with an MBA applied. At first glance, she seemed interested. And I'm getting hit with acid. It was How am I getting hit? With a somewhat similar name to a real How am I getting hit? Please, I'm dying. Come on, chill. Was because he was ordered by a judge to get a job. Because okay, good. Years behind on his I think we should be good here. If we survive a little bit longer. The story was on his lengthy employment gap. He said he had quit working to avoid. I hope I can regen enough health so I can like take more hits. He clearly wasn't qualified for the position and had lied his way into the interview. In what I'm guessing, that one block is saving my life. Plans with the judge's orders. A dude asked my coworker on a date. Never mind, it's gone. Interview. Oh, never mind. Didn't get the job or the date. We live The in. entire job was doing phone support. She said she didn't like talking on the phone, 
You stopped answering my question. To tell me that wearing glasses was making my eyes dependent on glasses and I should stop wearing them. His first question, before we even started, was about our sexual harassment policy. So were his second. The fuck? question. Including detailed scenarios. I can hear the story, by the I'm way. Not sure if he was so that's why I said that. Fetish. But either way, it wasn't great. Our male receptionist welcomed him and escorted him to the interview room where I was sitting. He asked if we were waiting for the yeah, car to return. They took the car. Damn. I would make him a coffee while we waited. I explained Let me get that I car. the hiring manager and he laughed at okay. funny like the balloon. to have a female boss Give me. because it was so unexpected. When we started on the tech Buckle up, buckaroo. She said she didn't know how to use a computer and okay. wasn't going to learn because they were too complicated. She wasn't that old. I swear to God, if I drive this off the cliff, I swear to God, and it I'm going to ten years ago. I have no idea how go she insane. made it in the world. Oh, Spire, get out of here. I placed an ad online for a photographer for an event three months away. This guy decided it was acceptable to leave me a voice email in response to an ad that asked for emails only between nine and five. He called me six times whilst I was at work and left several increasingly nasty messages about how it costs him money to call me and I shouldn't be wasting people's time with an ad if I wasn't prepared to speak to them. His first one started with now I'm not sure you millennial understand, but running a business can be expensive. And they steadily got worse from there, implying I was lazy, deliberately ignoring him, is waiting for permission from my husband to speak to another man on the phone. The ad had been up less than 24 hours. I messaged him through the site and deeply apologized that my having a job has interfered with his ability to harass me, as I did not realize that it cost him money. Effort. I thought the, um, the grass also catches on fire, because, you know, that makes sense. But I guess it's just in the other game. I definitely have no intention of ever working with him. Two stories here. While I was a manager of the Blockbuster, RIP, I asked an applicant if he had any questions. He looked me dead in the eye. You playing jailbreak right now? Do you handle people copying the DVDs? Is there a That's cool. Here that you having fun? Damn, those people are dead. They're obliterated. Giveaway. Why he was there. Later found out that he frequents other rental outlets, rents multiple DVDs at a time and returns them the same day. While I was an AGM for a hotel. Okay, let me gather an item before this shit starts. Position. He was incredibly calm during the interview. And would have been a perfect fit. What should I get? Should I get this? Interview, I can't even afford it. We Wait, why can I? Two people in the room, so I knew he was the it's one blocked off. Let it slip. No harm done. Okay. It happens and I wasn't going to point it out. Even though it was a terrible smell and you could definitely tell by the look on my face. But he just looks at me and says, You HM, do you need to go real quick? Mm -hmm. He literally blamed me for his part. I once called a guy for his scheduled phone interview and he answered the phone. As if he thought I was a telemarketer, he was incredibly rude and asked who I was at least three times before understanding I was calling to interview him. After realizing his mistake he wasn't even apologetic for yelling at me. It was a tense interview and he did not move forward. One guy cited his driver's license as a professional certification. Refused to say. I don't know, Nightbot is crazy, I'm so sorry. Our interviews for software I don't think you can send links to me. To I have to fix that. Of until but just tell me your name and I'll add you. Expected that the candidate will be able to answer them. It's entirely expected that, eventually, the candidate will have to say, I don't know the answer to that. From there, we explore how you might find out, etc. This is an important thing to discover about someone because... Inevitably in our line of work, something comes up where you don't know the answer and have to figure it out or learn it. If the candidate persists in some kind of smear of bullcrap instead of just admitting ignorance, that's a big big red flag. Nobody Did I say Foxy the pirate fox motherfucker? Engineers competences how and how that's funny. They learn something new, not so much what they already know. I was hiring in pharmaceutical sales. And it was a large drug launch for a to be slash newly approved product. So they were hiring like 200 people nationwide. Because of this, first step was a phone screen with us. Then a video interview with the hiring manager. Before flying candidates out for the final panel interviews where they would meet with five individuals. VPs of ours and sales of each region. And sales directors for those territories. Because of this, 
we were very strict with the interviews, and who moved forward, which means it really sucked, when a guy went into his final panel interview, and started doing magic tricks, very seriously, he started pulling flowers from his sleeves, and he tried to vanish an interviewer's coffee, but ended up spilling it everywhere instead. In that same round of hype, I sent you a friend request. Had an individual who did his video call from his coffee table. He sat on the floor, and he had someone ring his doorbell. From the conversation with the hiring manager, he asked politely if he could go on to the door in case it was an emergency. She said sure, no big deal. And the guy stood up flashing his tighty with this. She didn't say much about it when he came back. But needless to say she couldn't stop laughing when she told us about it. I wonder what the next disaster is going to be. Also, I'm going to get rid of this. It's bothering me. This meant he would not speak to her during his interview. She tried to stress to him. My username is my... The manager for the position in question. And would be the person conducting the interview. She asked him questions for 10 minutes. None of which he answered. She said it was incredibly uncomfortable. My username is my Twitch name. Is he was not a new hire and had like 12 years experience at another company not sure how you can make it 12 years when refusing to work with or talk to women had a resume there's sims that be adding you we clicked on the link hold up brought us to the most pretentious web why i get no sims just kidding but wow i'm sorry to hear that awesome he is his recommendation was some kind of general of a nation we had an intern who was a classmate of his he basically said yeah unless i added the wrong thing by accident Guy came if I did, um, you should add me. It's Espion without the underscore. I need to change my username again because I spent $10 and I misspelled the username. That was the biggest waste of money in my life. Overall terrible interview. Ended up losing the job to someone who was a second place candidate to him, but mailed the interview. So, it can be a good idea to call and check on your application. But don't call the store. Ask for the owner and see if he's looked at your application one hour after you left it with US. This person actually called three times throughout the day, and each time we told her the owner. It's the same thing as my Twitch username. After we close. See, it's right here, Espion Twitch. Spring at a greenhouse. A close friend of mine once told me of a very interesting experience she had involving an interview. An interview that she had no part of at a company she was not connected to. A guy once interviewed for a position at the company in question, and the hiring manager was very impressed by the interviewee's portfolio. It was some truly stellar work. It was especially impressive. Alright, let me add you real quick. The hiring manager had known the interviewee in college, and the particular project he was showcasing was well above his skill level. The interviewee described how he had done all the work on this specific project, a group project in college, and then after the interview, went on his way thinking he had mailed it, wanting to get to the bottom of the discrepancy between the quality of the work demonstrated and the quality of the worker claiming to have done it all. The hiring manager took a closer look at this particular... People be annoying you? And found the other name what did they be saying? Name. He found her contact information, gave her a call. How you sipping on Roblox? That's crazy. And explained that he could tell the work was hers, not the interviewees. He knew this because it was some of the best work he had ever seen, and well beyond anything the interviewee was capable of. Actually, now I can see it. I said POV stalkers in this game. Off. The interviewee had applied for the position, claiming her hard work was his own. The manager went on to tell her that, although she had not even applied for the position, it was hers if she wanted it. I'm always annoyed by instances of group projects where one member gets stuck with the brunt of the work. <laughs> the I honestly don't even re I don't reply to people in this game because they be they be fucking crazy. Poetic resolution to both of those problems at once. By mentioning they would only be in town for a few months for a technical services job. A few months is our training period. Had a guy bring his four-year-old to an interview. It was fine until he didn't make him listen. It was the middle of January and the kid continuously opens and closes the door. This game low-key easy as well. It's cold outside. I asked him to tell him to stop and he just kind of nodded at me. And let Maybe I'll go play um, Jailbreak with you in a second. I had to get up and lock the door. Kid made a huge fuss. Dad completely ignored him. And I got to listen to a screaming kid for the next 10 minutes. No higher. 
I'm not in a position to hire people yet, but got this funny story from my father. Basically, Is jailbreak like some obby or something? To drink some drinks, and they got beaten up by some wasted idiots who just look for fights when they are wasted. The next Monday, my father was holding hiring appointments, and the guy who beat him showed up to apply for a position under my father. He didn't get the job. I think my green, my I game crashed. Previously, for those who may think it's a familiar story. Damn. I work in software. Did it crash? As part of the interview process. Yo. My company. I think it crashed. Interview over Skype using a code sharing website. Well, time to play. Um, small and relatively simple problem to help. We doubt candidates who are dishonest on their resumes. Damn, it crashed. Anyway, I'm going to follow you to the game. I started with the usual introduction of myself, my role within the company, so on and so forth. I introduce her to the task and explain that it will be on a code sharing website and that she'll need to follow the link I will send her to access it. I paste the link into the text window and explain to her how to access it. Some people haven't used Skype before and don't know how to access text chat in a video call. She smiles and nods and asks me when I'm done. Will you be writing the link on the whiteboard? What whiteboard? Okay. I look behind me and remember that yes. There is a small whiteboard behind me, and this woman was expecting me to handwrite the not so short link and she would read it off the webcam to type it into What the hell? No, I explained. I sent you the link within Skype itself. If you'll just click, I'm forced to trail off as she reaches forward. Shall we police or prisoner? Webcam, which I yeah, it's lag. I um. mounted to the top of her monitor. I get a nice close up of her eye as she peers inside the camera. Why? Go. My computer is trash. Okay, it's getting better. What the hell is going on? What the hell? That the link was sent over Skype and wouldn't appear behind me nor You could die in this game? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is going on? As I ask her to follow my directions to access the Skype text chat window. I ask her to <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is this? Until she sees some buttons appear. She takes her hand off the mouse, raises it, and waves it over the screen. I explain to her look, again look. that she I'm just I'm just I don't wanna she die. And nods again. Can After I kill a the ah, helicopter kill me? Yeah, let me get on that. She did finally discover the link in the Skype text chat, but she proceeded to type it into her browser by Yo. Her. She did not make it to the next round. Okay, we're not we in the helicopter. The and they kicked me out. What? What the hell? And the cat urine had tested Get me on here. I had a candidate straight Someone said let's F. F. What does that mean? And applied for this job. I hope that doesn't mean what she I think it means. Easy and not stressful. She was applying for a management position. Give me on that Sorry. fucking plane. Good luck Come on. Life around, but not in my workspace. I was doing a video interview with a candidate in a new office we were opening in another country. 